right, grade sixes, this is lesson number seven, going over fractions of an amount. So, um, it's not really tricky, this lesson, but you just, it's just steps. It's like following a recipe, you gotta do the steps to figure it out. So I'm gonna go over the steps right now. So when you look at questions, you're gonna see questions like this on it. It's gonna say, what's one quarter of 20? And how you solve it is you take your, first, your bigger number here, your 20, and you divide it by your denominator, four. So one quarter of 20, so you go 20 divided by four is, and your answer is five, that's your answer. So that means that one quarter of 20 is five. If I was to split 20 into groups of, um, into quarters, into sections, each section would get five. So all you do is you take your number and you divide it by the dot bottom number. You need to remember that step because it gets trickier. So when you get to the next one, one ninth of 27. So I take my number here, 27, and I divide it by nine, and I get three. So that means if I was to split 29 into nine little groups, each group would have three. The next one here is one quarter of 36. So if I had splitting 36 into four little groups, I would go 36 divided by four, nine. Sorry, I had a complete brain fart. You might've got that faster than me. So that is how you do those questions. When your numerator at the top is one is where you just did the dividing. So that's what you should notice there is your top number in your fraction. Here it's one, one, one. So all I did had to do was divide from the denominator, the bottom number. So when you're looking at your page 21, um, that's what you are going to do to find it. So warm up with the puzzle using division. So that's what we just did. Using division to find the answer for each clue. The solved puzzle will tell you the name of a very important day of the year. So I would take my 16, I would divide it by my bottom number four, and I would get four. And there's an L, so on the four I would put an L. Now, number two. Good thing we did a lot about telling time and elapsed time time um, back in December, so this shouldn't be very hard for you. You just need to use this clock. It's already been split into fourths or quarters, um, and then you need to now answer this these questions as you go through and using a clock and doing time. So now you're seeing that time is quite related to fractions or it can be related to um, like a decimal number. Okay, now it, this is where it gets a little bit different. So on the next question, oh, this one down here, it faded away. Um, so on this question now, you have two thirds of 12. So in this question, you have two steps to do. And that's what's going to make it different because now my numerator is no longer just a one. It has a different number. So now I'm going to have to add some um, multiplying. So two thirds of 12, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to it's 12 divided by three. That's four. And now I'm going to multiply it by my numerator. So I get 12 divided by three is four. Four times two is eight. And that's my answer. So what this is saying is if you had 12 items, you split it into thirds, how much is in two of those groups? Well, there's eight in two of those groups all together. So here we have four six of 24. So I'm gonna take my 24 divided by six. 24 divided by six is four. Multiply it by the top number, four. So it's four times four, 16. And then this all faded. So now I have what's three quarters of 16. So I take my 16, divide it by four, I get four, multiply it by the three, four times three is, and I get 12. So when your numerator is not a one, that's where you have to add the multiplication so that you can find um, the total. So it's divide and multiply. I hope this video helps you. And I'm just gonna quickly show you on page number 22, the next page, it's right there. So there's the steps, and just like they say, you divide, then you do the multiplying. So you're just gonna do the same, same thing I just showed you right there. And then here you need to read this instructions that are on this little thumbtack paper. Answer, again, it's about minutes and time. Um, and then answer those questions that go with it. And then this might be a little clue to help you. All right, grade sixes, hope this will help.